and welcome to New Gameplay Today. I am Alex Stadnick, and I am joined by the illustrious, the amazing, Jay Guisao. What up, Jay? Hey, 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 hey. How you doing, man? I am so good. What are we playing today, Jay? Today we're playing some Switch Sports, dude. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Game, the game that surprised a lot of people at, uh, I think it was the last Nintendo Direct. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, Wii Sports, one of the best-selling games of all time. Right. Uh, responsible for getting your grandpa and grandma into video games. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it, it had kind of languished on the Wii for a long time. You know, no Wii U thing or anything like that. Um, and we're finally getting... Uh, Oh, I don't know what you'd call this—a sequel, a, a, an upgrade, yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah, little, little half and half. I think of that. Yeah, right. And and you've gotten your hands on it. You're writing the review for for Game Informer. Yes, sir. Um, what are what are your thoughts so far? Obviously, we had to start with the classic, right? I had to show my bowling skills off here. Of course, dude. Of course, absolutely. I mean, bowling. Um, I've kind of I've kind of talked to Shay about this a little bit too, um, and all things Nintendo. But bowling, it, it really is like if it ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? It was such a great game in Wii Sports, and now on Switch Sports, it still feels as tight as it was like um, like over a decade ago. Um, right. It's still like a lot of fun um, with you know like friends like locally and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's it's super simple mechanics, but it's really really tight, and it's very satisfying to uh, knock all the pins down. So you know, <laughs> yeah, it is it is bowling. I will say, I do feel like this version of of Switch Sports. I'm sure a lot of people are like, you know, is this going to be better than Wii Sports? Is sure. you know, like, um, I my time with it says yes, just because mm -hmm. I feel like the Joy Cons are a lot more precise. Yep. Than the the Wiimote. Because the Wiimote was great when that sensor bar worked, right? And then sometimes, <laughs> exactly. sometimes it didn't always work. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, it's definitely, it's way more responsive. It feels more polished and just more modern, I guess. Um, I feel like I'm using all the buzzwords, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to say Myriad, and then we, we've got to cover it. Yeah, if you want to you see me use Myriad, just, you know, read all my articles like Game of <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you did you have a favorite uh Wii Sports uh title back in the day? I did, I did. It it was also super simple, but I love tennis. Um I thought I mean it was a lot of fun just from a competitive level, right? But also um your little me your little me animations were super wonky. You could see them swinging. I mean these aren't me's here, but like yeah, it's just as wonky right. uh when you swing the when you swing the the racket, so I always I always love tennis. It was always so much fun, and it felt good to hit the ball and everything. Yeah, and and this once again, I, uh, I it just feels a lot more precise with these Joy Cons. I turned the computer difficulty up a little bit, and they were they were they were spanking me a little bit. Yeah, dude, man, I'm, I'm I I did the same. You turn that difficulty up a little bit, you get like a really uh, competitive match against the AI. Um, right. They know what they're they know what they're doing. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, like, you know, uh, I think what makes the like this game and, you know, the, the prequel games a lot of fun is just like the level of, of role playing you can sort of apply to it. Like when you really get into it, I, like when I was playing tennis, I found myself hunched over thinking I was Roger Federer for a second. You know what I mean? Like it's <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's so easy. To, yeah. yeah, it's just so infectious. It's so easy to like all of a sudden get super in, involved into it. it. It's it's almost like how much are you willing to invest um, into the game itself, right? Because, you know, you, you might have some players who just sit down and swing the racket a little bit, and then and for them, you know, maybe um, uh, it, the game doesn't connect with them as much, right? But when you're standing up and, and, and maybe even playing with other people in the room, it can get really intense, and all of a sudden, you know, you're starting to do crazy moves that you don't even really need to do to actively hit the ball, right? But right. Yeah. It, it's still just fun. Um, so, yeah. Well, and it's definitely, it is, I forgot about, I, it was the thing, right, where they tell you uh, to attach the Joy-Con straps at the start yeah. of it, and, you know, legally, I'm sure we have to tell you to do that as well, <laughs> but it was one of those things, I was like, nah, I don't need those things, and then, <laughs> and then my game turned here uh, when I th accidentally threw my Joy-Con out of my hand onto the ground, and I was like, oh, I've, I've rattled myself, I can't, I'm, I'm gonna lose this now. Um, yeah, and, then, and then like I accidentally hit my my hand on my monitor and stuff. It was it was a whole <laughs> thing. So, um, 
but um, you know, this isn't just the, the the old games you remember, right? There are some new ones right. here, and one of those are volleyball. Is volleyball? Yeah. So, what did you think about your time playing volleyball so far? Oh, I love volleyball. I think I guess what I love the most about volleyball is there's so many things going on, right? Like you have the you have the setting, you have the spiking, you have the blocking, um, you have like sort of the, the underhanded like like hits uh, where you, you put your yeah. yeah there you go thank you yeah. you got the bumps <laughs> um yeah obviously i don't know the terminology of volleyball <laughs> no, <it's all> <laughs> but but no it's it's there's a there are a lot of like inner working parts right um and it's in the beginning i think it might seem a little overwhelming just because the sports the most of the other sports around it are super simple like you know bowling mm. you kind of just kind of literally just roll the ball it's like it's very intuitive you kind of understand what you're doing um but in this there's there's a bunch of different um motions you have to do and you have to remember them on the fly i think it's it's easy in the tutorial right because everything's slowed down but then when you're mm -hmm. actually playing against like you know more difficult uh just players or just more more difficult computers um uh you have to like quickly remember the motions and it's much more intense because of that for sure yeah it, i the tutorial made it seem like it was going to be, uh, I don't know. The tutorial, also, that was definitely out. I'm realizing that now. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> um, it, it definitely seemed like I was like, oh, this is going to be pretty, like, I don't know, cumbersome maybe not be the right word, but, like, sure. it, I, I wasn't, like, super pumped to play volleyball and then i was like okay there's a lot going on here but like right. there is an interesting flow to it that they do set up nicely and right. it is i hesitate to call it almost like a rhythm game but there is kind of a a, a cadence sure. you have to get in with it and you do need to like memorize those um you know uh, those sequences to to be able to to excel at it and and i had a lot of fun with it um yeah, i thought it was really yeah. nice nice addition i am equally i'm equal parts like curious and terrified to play this like with my fiance right Cause, like, <laughs> trying to set that up together would be really uh, uh an interesting relationship test uh, sure <laughs> so <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah but i i really do feel like this fits nicely in the uh in the catalog here I think so too. You know, it still has a lot to do with timing and anticipation, like when it comes to blocks and, and everything. So yeah, right. A lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, another addition that I'm pretty sure is new. I don't remember. Uh, was yeah. was Badman in the in the first game? I can't. Remember. No, sir. No, that yeah. that is also a new game. Um, it's my favorite one. Too, oh, actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's dethroned tennis. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. I, I loved tennis in the original. What badminton brings in, though, right, is obviously there's a shuttlecock that's like sort of gravity defying. So it really, truly is like a, like all about timing um, and cadence, too. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, there, there's also uh, this mechanic built in. I, I I'm cautious to call it like an invisible stamina bar or something, but depending on the types of movements and types of hits you do, mm -hmm. you can sort of just, your character can just lose stamina and fall over. And this is kind of an easy in for, for the opponent. So you really have to pay attention to the different movements you're doing, whether it's backhanded or like, or like forehanded. Um, yeah, it's, it, I mean, I, and because it's one V one, it's like hyper competitive, even against uh, higher difficulty. Oh, there you go. See, you see, you fell go. over there. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's, it's nuts. You really gotta, you gotta be careful out there when you play this one, but right. it's, it's just so much fun. It's so much fun. So competitive. And I, yeah. I love competitive games. So. Yeah, I know you do. You little competitive <laughs> sicko. You, um, yeah, no, I was very surprised at this. Cause I was like, I badminton in real life. I'm like, nah, no, thank you. Yeah. Um, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was like, I was very surprised because you can see me almost get staggered there a little bit too. Right. If he, mm -hmm. if the, my opponent launches one at me and you can tell what, kind of shot it's going to be from the the tail the colored tail that exactly. comes after it yep. um so there is a, like a, a decent amount of strategy in this and and um with the precision of the joy cons it really does matter like you know how you're swinging it um, right um, right yeah the uh, the purple trails are they're called supercharged attacks um or well not attacks but you know what i mean they're, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're supercharged hits i'll think of them as attacks because you know yeah. competitive mindset but exactly yeah. <laughs> but um you know you can you can sort of uh, uh respond to those with like this really like weak wobbly shot um mm -hmm. but they they come in super fast and so it's very hard to sort of get the timing right but when you do 
Um, it's very exhilarating, right? Because you potentially just uh, uh, saved the match for yourself. I love it. Now, what is? The, I can never pronounce this. What is this game? Sure. This is this is Shambra. It's uh, it's the sword play uh, mode from Wii Resort. Um, the I, like I guess sequel that came out forever ago. Uh, right. But it's this one. This one's interesting. Um, it's really difficult, I think, um, when you're. It's really difficult, I feel, to play it on a strategic level because when you're in in the fight, you're kind of just swinging around, you're like just willy nilly. You're not really thinking very deeply um, about the, the blocking system uh, mm -hmm. and whatnot. But I feel like when you play on higher difficulties and when you play against other people. Um, that's when those things will really come into play. I was talking to Shay about this too. And I think it would be really interesting to specifically see this game as like a like a mini esport or something. Oh, yeah. It'd be very interesting to see like players anticipating where sword slashes are coming from and and where to block, when to block, um and whatnot. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, bro. I could get we could get sweaty with this one real quick. We could get very sweaty, bro. Like like actually literally. Um this, this is like one of it's like one of the it's one of the sports in the game where it feels like you really have to put your full force into the swinging motion. You can't just flick your wrist like other sports. It won't respond to 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 that at all. You really have to put your your whole body into the sword slash and if if the match is very, you know, if if, if it's contested the whole time, you will be sweating uh by the end of it. I guarantee right. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is it is definitely one of the more competitive ones uh I thought. Um I didn't play Wii Sports Resort, so I didn't uh get mm -hmm. a get a shot at that before. Um but I, I definitely I, I liked it. It was it was too easy on the the normal difficulty. Sure, right, but right. Like even one level up, I was like, oh, I really and that's the, what you're watching here now. Um, mm. I really enjoyed the the the, the competitive experience of, it, but I, it's definitely something where I was like, oh, I could get I could get heated at this game really really quickly. <laughs> so, um, right. I, I did want to bring up um, the fact that as I go careening off the stage here. Um, <laughs> As of this recording, though, you and I have not been able to play um, online yet. No, uh, right. So we can't uh, attest to the uh, online version of this, right? Uh, just because the, the those servers aren't aren't ready for us yet, or whatever right. it would be. So, and then, oof, and then when they, they they dropped this out, I was like, oh, it's on. <laughs> this is like some duel of the fates stuff from like episode three, and then Holy just somehow. Cow. Look at you, dude! What a oh. what a young god! What a legend, <laughs> bro! NPC got nothing on me. That's exactly. Look at her sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> Luca Brazzi is sleeping with the fishes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love it. So this is the this is the last game in the uh, in the collection as of right now. And uh, football for our friends across the pond, but uh, soccer <laughs> soccer for the rest of us. What did you think of soccer, Jay? Soccer is very intensive it's it's especially when you have the leg strap accessory on you have to put the full kick into into motion there and really? so kind of like yeah kind of like chambra you're gonna sweat with this one um right now the kicking um the the leg ex accessory is only available for the sort of low stakes shootout mode so when you play for instance um on the bigger field like this you'll need both of the joy cons to play um, so you have like a little sort of Breath of the Wild inspired stamina bar while you're doing that, which is very punishing, by the mm -hmm. way. That thing does not refill very quickly at all. No. Um, yeah. And uh, it, for for me, this one, this game was is continues to be just a little frustrating, I guess, from at least an AI perspective. I find that my teammates, uh, my AI teammates are just not, they're not able to do it, man. Um, and also <laughs> yeah. trying to get kicks off can be just a little finicky as well. Right. Um, but there is this really, there is this really dope, like, uh, it's pretty simple, um, but it's this dope, like, jumping mechanic where you can jump and get a kick off. And it's very fun to uh, sort of anticipate when one of the uh, opponents is going to get a huge kick off. You can just jump up and sort of send it right back. Um, and I, I believe there is sort of this uh, header kind of kick, too. It's not really yep. a kick, but you, you fling your body at it head first. It's so and good. that's always fun. It is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I I feel that that the AI, you know, your teammates just kind of kind of are there, right? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You know, I think this is going to be a lot more fun with actual people, 
Um, Me too. Uh, it is very uh, Rocket League esque. Um, in you know, uh, yes, in its stamina usage and stuff like that. Like Jay said, right? There's not little orbs you can pick up, right? Like you have right. to be very careful with how you use that. And you, this is another one where you have to be very careful with the precision of the Joy Cons because, like, if I swing. If I swing to the left, or like I just did, I swung to the, right. I swung my Joy-Con mm-hmm. to the right, and I kicked it to the right. Swing it to the left, to kick it to the left, um, and then you know, I think it's if you swing up, you'll you'll air the ball out, and then down, it's like more of a straightforward kick. So it's like you do have to be considerate of of those those aspects while you're while you're playing. So back to the sort of the AI, I always thought it was funny when when I was playing through this, I would turn around and like the goalkeeper was like never where they needed to be. Like, it would be yeah. like, it would be like at the half field mark. And it's like, all right, like, I guess we're just going to lose this. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Well, I guess that's probably closer to real life than we want to admit, unfortunately. True enough. <laughs> Everyone wants to be the forward. Um, yeah, uh, no, I'm curious to see this online. I'm curious to see like, and that's what's kind of, of, uh, not scary, but like, um, wait and see right it's like you know is the late how is latency gonna work in in right. a game like where you need precision like this right you know that exactly. is uh for a company that hasn't exactly been known for their uh you know oh i tried the header <laughs> yeah dude this happened to me so many times <laughs> <laughs> um but like you know you know uh uh, switch online is hit or miss right right um so right. i'm curious to see what this actually looks like and i'm hoping you get a shot to uh, check it out before your review so yeah um, me too um i'm i'm looking forward to you know i don't want to sound vain but i'm looking forward to the cosmetics i want to see what they kind of have as as potential rewards for winning online and whatnot so right well i think that's a great look at, at uh switch sports uh if you want to learn more about the game be sure to head over to gameinformer.com for jay's official game informer review yes, um and uh thanks for watching and jay when is this game coming out april 29th cool well uh look forward to that thank you so much for watching if you enjoy new gameplay today we have so much on the the biggest and best games of 2022 and beyond so be sure to check that out i know we have for spoken sitting there we have a couple other great ngts so jay thank you so much thank and you viewers, for having me Yeah, viewers, thank you for watching. Be good to one another, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.